Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of this system design series of designing our new suite system. So in this section, we'll be design, discussing about a high level design of this new suite system. So basically this high level design is divided into two parts. So one is we have this feed publishing and the other is news feed building. So what is feed publishing? In feed publishing, we have this user basically publishes a post and corresponding data or the post corresponding data with related to that post is being written into the cache and the database and the post is populated into the friends news feed. So in this new in news feed in feed publishing, we do is like user publishes a post. The corresponding data is written to cache and database. So for cache for fast read and write low latency and database to persist the data basically. And this post is populated to the friends, the users friends news feed cache or database as per our use case. So this is feed publishing and news feed building is like this is built by aggregating friends post in reverse chronological order. So built by aggregating friends post in reverse chronological order. So basically for a client to communicate with the server, we use news feed APIs. So these APIs are basically HTTP based that allowed our client to perform actions such as like posting a status or retrieving news feed, adding friends, etc. So we basically look into two main APIs for a client to communicate with the server. One is the feed publishing API. So in this API, we so in feed publishing, what we do, we just discussed is like the user publishes or po posts uh, something like we discussed here, like user publishes a post basically. So for that, what we use is we use a post API request. So post, let's say v1, me, my feed, in my feed, I post something and the params or the parameters which we pass is content and the authorization token. So content basically holds the text of the post and other related materials with respect to the post and the authorization token is to authorize the valid clients posting on the application. And the second is news feed retrieval API to read the news feed or to get contents on the news feed. What API we use is that is the gate request news feed retrieval API. So for this, we use our get request, get v1 me feed and we pass the authorization token. It is just to authenticate the API requests. So let's uh, look into the in high level, the feed publishing, how does it work? So we'll be looking into feed publishing in a high level overview using a flow diagram and in subsequent videos we will be diving deep into the designing or deep into the individual components. So let's look into feed publishing with the help of a flow diagram. So here we have a flow diagram of how a feed publishing happens. So here we can see a user. So user can view news feeds on browser or mobile application as we discussed in the previous video in the introductory video as one of our requirements. So basically user makes a post with say, let's say content hello and the authorization token is passed along with the, with the API request. So user, what it does, it does a post request. So let's say it's v1 me feed and content is hello and 
authorization token is the token which we will pass to authorize our API request. So after this, we have a load balancer. So what is the function of load balancer? So basically it distributes the traffic. Once we have the post request sent, it distributes the traffic among the web servers. So we have second we have is the load balancer. So it is evident like what the what is the function of load balancer it is to distribute the request to the web server. So web server what is the what it does. So web server in turn distributes the request to the particular service as per our API request. So web server what it is does redirect traffic to different internal services. as per our API request. So these are the internal services as you can see here. So we have this post service, we have this fan out service, notification service. So we'll be discussing more in details about this. So post service, service what it does, as you can see in the flow diagram also, it persists the post which we do in the application in cache and eventually in the database for future references. So this is the main function of post service to persist the data in database and the cache. The function of fan out service is, so let's, uh, if I write here, post service function is persist data in cache or database. The fan out service, what it does, it pushes this news, new contents whenever a user does a post or publishes a post it pushed this new content to the friends news feed, the user's friends news feed, so that the news feed is populated for that particular friend and whenever he or she opens the application, he can see the post of, the, of his friend as per reverse chronological order, which we just discussed. So the fan out service, what it does, it pushes this new content to friends news feed and this is basically stored in cache for fast retrieval and finally we have the notification service to inform the particular friend that his friend has posted something or updated something so this is the notification service so to learn more in details about how a notification service works you can see my playlist on designing a notification system server so i'll post the link in the description you can go through it so this is we discussed about feed publishing. So whenever a user posts something or publishes a post, how it is being stored in the database, how it is forwarded to the user's friend's cache so that the friend can see whenever he or she opens the application and how is the user's friend or other per people who have subscribed to the notification receives a notification whenever a user publishes something. So next, what we will be looking into is the news feed building. So these are the two components of our high level design. One was the news feed publishing and another is the news feed building. So let's look into how news feed building happens or what are the contents whenever a user opens an application sees in his news feed. So we will be looking into it through a flow diagram again. So let's look into news feed building. So here we have this uh, flow diagram depicting the news feed building. So here we have a user. So user sends a request to retrieve the news feed. So this is a get request using API REST full APIs. So user sends a get request, let's say to see his news feed. Along with the content is like authorization token it is also sent to validate the API request. And after that, we have a load balancer. So it distributes the traffic to the web server. So web server, what, in, what, is the, what it does in turn, depending on the API request, it uses its internal service to fetch the request or to work on that request. So here it redirects the request to the news feed service. So we have this, let's say load balancer. Then we have the web servers. So routes request 
to news feed service so this you can see in the flow diagram also this is the news feed service depending on our get api request it routes the request to this service after that whenever the request is the news feed service news feed service what it does it fetches the news data from the fetches news data feed from the cache basically fetches news feed from the cache so this is the news feed cache which we saw in the feed publishing flow diagram also whenever a user posts something this is populated for a particular friend of that user and the news feed service now retrieves the elements which are present here from this cache and displays the performs on this request of get request and displays the new information on the news feed of the particular user and what does this news feed news feed cache store basically this news feed cache it stores news feed ids of the user who has published or posted something who has news feed ids of the user who has posted something so basically it is like post id and the user id pair which is stored in the table or this news feed cache okay so this is a high level designing of uh, the two particular components which we will be looking into or we will be focusing on a distribution on building our news feed system so next in the next videos in the next subsequent videos we will be diving deep into the details of describing each of these components how these each of these components work so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more such interesting videos